Well, this one is going to be hard for you to imagine, but a couple says they were brutally attacked right in the middle of one of Savannah's busiest squares because they are not the same race. Well, Brian Enton is following their story and joins us tonight. Brian, do police think the attackers were re racially motivated at all? Well, police say at this point they are still investigating, but the girlfriend who is African-American says the only reason her boyfriend was beaten is because he is white and dating her. The pictures are hard to look at. 23-year-old Andrew Quaid's eye is swollen shut and he's got gashes all over his face. He was basically left for dead. I don't want to go into like all the gory details, but um, they could have stopped and they kept going. This general area. Andrew's girlfriend, Olafisayo Bakary, says the couple was walking through Ellis Square just before midnight Friday when they say they spotted three black men. One of them was making racial comments toward us and the other was blowing kisses. So it was, very, it was a very aggravating situation to be in. I didn't want to just be like, like freak out on them right? because I thought they're saying something to me. I was trying to gain, you know, a little more knowledge about the situation. And before we could even do that, it was just bam, bam. Andrew didn't want to show his face today because it looks worse than these pictures. He says the next thing he remembers is waking up in an ambulance. His girlfriend says the men attacked him and that they wouldn't stop. I was trying to pry them off before I knew it. He was on the floor. It happened all so quickly. So you think that these guys had a problem with Andrew because he was dating a African-American? Yeah, definitely. That's simple. The couple says they felt discrimination before, but never anything like this. The worst we'll get would be a stare or like a snicker here and there, but not to physical, not to, it didn't get to the level of physical contact. I can't really classify it as anything else or wrap my mind around what other logical re reason um, they would have to just, you know, go all out like that. Police say they're reviewing surveillance video and talking to witnesses. The couple insists they did nothing to spark the attack. I just hope they get caught, really. I just hope justice prevails at the end of the day. And this shouldn't happen in this day and age. I know we're in the South and all that yada yada, but I don't know. It's time for a change, I think. Now, there is no hate crime law in Georgia, but police say if there is enough evidence, there are federal laws that could apply. Of course, that's if they catch those folks. The couple told me the surveillance video is very grainy, and it's also from far away, so they're having a hard time seeing the faces. And all they can remember, because it happened so fast, is it was three men with descending heights. So if you were out there Friday night, Ellis Square, very busy, and you saw anything, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That story is just so sad. It could really happen to anyone. Yeah. We have to get these guys off the streets. Hopefully Thanks a lot, someone Ryan. saw something. Yeah. yeah.